What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today Google dropped a huge bomb with the Android 13 Developer Preview 1. I've got it running on my Pixel 6. I've had a lot of issues with this, so I wanna talk about it. Uh, Google did warn me about this, uh, so definitely don't just install this on your device, that's my personal opinion. I'm gonna talk about some of the features. Um, it's crazy because yesterday I already got Android 12 L Beta 3 on my Pixel 6 Pro, but I didn't wanna install the Developer Preview on my Pixel 6 Pro because it's my main phone and uh, I didn't want any issues, and I'm glad I didn't because it's got a lot of issues. Uh, I want to remind you guys, though, before I get started, that we do have our huge giveaway, the Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's going to end on February 28th, so we still got a couple weeks left. You guys can enter daily, so you can bookmark the link. Uh, you can also get extra entries for referring your friends. We're also giving away a Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite 5G, Redmi Note 11, Redmi Note 11S. Four prizes total right now. Uh, if we get more entries, maybe I'll add another prize. I'll drop the link in the description in the pinned comment. So I installed Android 13 Developer Preview 1 on my Pixel 6, and uh, I made a mistake. Google explicitly told us not to install this uh, if you had not been running Android 13 already, which no one was, uh, as an OTA. They said, don't flash this as an OTA um, sideload. And I did it anyway, because some other guys online, some of the other sites told me that they did it and it was fine. Uh, it didn't work out fine for me. It was working fine for a few minutes. Hey, it might happen in this video. My Pixel 6 right there. There you go. Factory data reset. It automatically restarts and then gives me this message. You guys can see it. I mean, I guess I'll just keep making the video uh, and you guys can see because I can still show you some of the new features. It says, cannot load Android system. Your data may be corrupt. You may need to do the factory reset. I already did it. So I got this message a few times uh, and I went ahead and wiped my data because this is my secondary phone. Then you can do try again. It'll take you back into the phone. It'll work for maybe five or 10 more minutes and then it'll do this message again. So this looks like a pretty serious boot loop issue. I guess I'm gonna have to unlock the bootloader on this device uh, and just go with the uh, system image approach, which I should have done in the first place, but I was trying to get a video out quickly and I was also trying to get you guys, um, you know, preserve my data, just make it easier. But anyway, definitely don't do that. So that serves as a warning. Let me talk about some of the new features. First of all, there's some new quick setting tiles. There's a color correction tile up here. Uh, also a couple of other ones. There's QR code, which is actually grayed out, so it's not there already. Uh, and then the other one is one-handed mode. So three new quick setting tiles up there. Uh, another feature, uh, well, I wouldn't call this a feature. I actually think that this is a really bad thing. But if you go on the sound and vibration menu, there's a change with vibration and haptics. You now have to have your phone on vibrate or volume in order for it to work. So if you change your phone to silent, and then you go back in here, the vibration and haptics are automatically turned off if it's on silent mode. Uh, this is a huge problem for me because I keep my phone on silent a lot, but I still want haptics and stuff like when I'm doing back gestures or going into the drawer. I really like having that haptic feedback. It's a really nice thing to have. The next feature that I really like that Google's added is they've added the ability to toggle your flashlight on from within the quick tap menu. Quick tap allows you to double tap the back of your phone and toggle on various things. I've never really used it, but with the flashlight, I might do that. So if you turn on the flashlight, you can double tap this, it'll turn on the flashlight on your device. That's a really useful feature, and I really do think that's something that I'm really happy that they added at the end of the day. Um, we do know that this is now officially Tiramisu. So it says right here, the build number, you can see my Pixel 6 build number. It is Android Tiramisu, so that's gonna be the dessert code name for Android 13. Um, there are some other changes, like they've added the split screen menu in uh, when you're doing multitasking. There's the split menu now when you do picture in picture. Uh, there's also some changes that Google previewed that aren't quite live in here yet. Uh, one of those changes is, you know, the icon theming. So if you go into wallpaper and style, the uh, icons in beta, these are supposed to theme only the Google icons before. Uh, now they're going to be able to theme everything. So obviously everything here is themed because I did a factory reset. Um, but this actually icon, you can see this lone one is not themed. But in a future version, your Twitter icon, your Instagram, your Facebook, all that stuff will be able to get themed uh, inside uh, of the icons beta version. So in terms of stability, obviously this is a very unstable update. You guys have already seen the factory data reset issue that I've had. Uh, there's gonna be these, these, these changes like the icon changes. There's also gonna be some secure Wi-Fi changes that are gonna be added behind the scenes. A lot of these things aren't here yet. There's also supposed to be a unified system-wide uh, image picker, which was also detailed by Google this morning. That's also not in developer preview one. So even though there's a lot of interesting things here, um, and I think personally, the uh, the change of not having haptic feedback is definitely for the worse. It's actually a worse change 
Uh, there are going to be some other things that will be coming in a later version of developer previews. And then, of course, this will turn into a beta version eventually. But right now, there really isn't a lot. Those new quick setting tiles. Uh, also, oh, one other thing. If you're listening to music, so let's just say we're going to YouTube Music, and you play a song, uh, there are some changes now to the uh, the music uh, quick settings here. Like you got shuffle and repeat. Uh, and then also, these guys right here are really low resolution. It's kind of hard to tell in the video. These are kind of messed up. Uh, also, when I take this to the home screen, when I'm listening to music, it kind of completely kills my device sometimes and doesn't show me any information here on the home screen, which is kind of interesting, I think. So that's kind of an interesting thing that also seems to crash the device. And there's another factory data reset. So the story with this is not that many interesting user-facing features. Tiramisu is the official name. I wouldn't sideload this as an OTA, as you guys have already seen. Uh, it's not a good idea because it works very poorly. Definitely not a, a daily driver piece anyway because it's very unstable. There's going to be some more interesting stuff coming right now, considering the quick tiles and the regression, in my opinion, in the haptics. Uh, I, I would definitely not install this, but I'll have more to come on this uh, as soon as the next version comes out. Hopefully it'll be a little more interesting. If you guys want to enter that giveaway, just uh, check the link in the description, the pinned comment, S22 Ultra. I got a lot more content coming and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.